so we've discussed about various authentication controls with windows and with the biometrics and other uh, authentication factors and uh, identification factors and all okay so okay, what about the last slides like you understand about the retinal scan and all so then we have the lab we have this adding passwords with the password tracking utility so let's see we're going to do try uh use a password tracking software and we will verify that really the pass uh, what how strengthy or how robust the passwords are okay um so that okay what, why they mentioned like survey result we have different user and birthday okay uh, okay spouse name anniversary and pet name okay so maybe we have to create a dictionary list through this that's good we they've given this okay Let, let's take the next step in case if we have to make dictionary list we'll come back okay you will create six user accounts with passwords related to the above survey okay so we have to do it great and we will um, create the user accounts in here we'll create the dictionary list later we will create the account and add user it's asking for the password password updated successfully okay we have to do it create it for everyone see you don't have to like go with this gco uh, argument also you will simply add user and you can add the username and password that will also work so they have very weak password okay <clears throat> so we have created all the accounts okay i've just used the up arrow to uh, recall the commands i've just changed quickly and i've created all the six accounts <clears throat> okay so confirm that the six specified users are there or not properly created or not yes we have created it successfully now add probable passwords to the word list okay now this one actually that i'm going to be uh, we're going to see now in here is called as raku.txt raku.txt is in this directory in your linux distribution uh, maybe in parrot security and your kali linux also but you cannot find it in ubuntu machine okay or in debian machine or anything okay so it is a file specifically for brute forcing it is a word list file okay so raku.txt now we're going to unzip this actually the unzip is a utility for unzipping okay we've done it it got extracted the file size is i think 138 mb or something and it is having nearly one crore passwords in it we are going to add this particular passwords in this file it's a one crore password and if we do brute force with that it will take more time so we'll try like the, what they are uh, saying in here but if it takes more time we will create a separate dictionary list since we have one core passwords it takes more time at the top of the line we'll add it and don't worry like uh, i'll explain you what i'm doing in here i've uh, just missed their comments what they've mentioned i'm using another command so what i've done nano is actually a text editor okay and they have used vim editor vim editor is very very difficult for the beginners if you're a beginner right you will you won't be able to use vim editor but vim, is, vim has lots of functionalities in it but nano is very very flexible and you can use it very easily nano is a text editor you can use it and you can open any text files or any any kind of files it will just open it okay so i'm just using nano raku.txt i just opened that file make sure you are in the same directory of the file where you of the file that you want 
okay and then i have added the passwords that we have created okay so that we can use this file as a dictionary file okay but in real time it won't be happening like that because we have created the account so we know the password we've added it but in real time you have to go research you have to do information gathering get to know about their spouse name get to know about their date of birth that is why information gathering is very important so you can make your word list very stronger got it now once you have done it you have to press ctrl x if there is any modifications it will ask you to save yes or no if there is no modification simply close there ctrl x to close the window okay now we made the dictionary list so we will do john john the ripple tool to crack the password okay we have created the uh, you know user accounts right remember the authentication system that i explained you uh, in the previous uh, slides like i told you we need shadow file and the password file both to crack password right so that's what we're going to do now we will do unshadow first and we will use john the ripper to crack it okay so john sorry unshadow and we will use okay and etc see when you have access to both of these files then only it is possible otherwise you cannot do so main purpose is not to hack someone's account the main purpose is to audit the robust or strength of the how strong the password is so they just rename uh, they, they will do unshadow and they will save the hashes in this particular file crack this file you can give any name okay and okay it is created crack this file okay so i'm using john with the word list that i want to specify and that is docu.txt okay and you have to add the file crack this that's it and if you hit enter let's check before we do hit enter what is this really crack this file is having Okay, you can see it has lots of hashes stored in here with user one, user two, user three, user four in here. Okay, so let's crack it. See, it quickly found all the hashes. So we have it in the hashes in here, but we are able to crack the passwords with the user one, user two, user three, user four. If you don't do unshadow, right? What is the fun use of unshadow in here, right? If we don't do unshadow, it won't be it won't be matching up with the corresponding user. Okay, that is fine. Got it. So that's how you do. And they just uh, he just said sorry. They want us to use the result in a file called results.txt. It's, this is unnecessary. It's not there. It is there. Okay. It should work. We've just had it. Okay, no issues. It is unnecessary. You don't need it. You, you don't need also. But see, when we try to crack it, it successfully cracked. It's still going on. It successfully cracked two, four, three, five, but it couldn't crack the user number six because we set a very strong password for user six. Okay, so that's why it is very tough for it to crack the password. Okay, so always use strong passwords and it is good to use passphrase not password okay so the difference between password password and passphrase is passphrase is almost like it looks like a sentence not like a word so that's why like i like this or i go there and this is my favorite movie like that you have to make sentence a good password will look like at least with 12 to 16 characters okay with full alphanumeric and special characters if we are using eight digit password with alphanumeric and special characters so it is uh, not it is not a strong password it can be it can be easily cracked okay do you understand the exercise that what we have done or you want me to explain each and every step once again so that's it for this lab we will just move on to the next lesson password cracking is uh, i thought like they will be showing loph crack it's a graphical tool with uh, windows okay simply you need the active directory username and password and where all the users password everything are stored and we need to run 
but, but you need your uh, Active Directory username password for that in Windows. And you'll be when once you give that, it'll automatically go crack all the passwords and it will give you what are the cracked passwords and what are the strong passwords that we have. Show them. Uh, okay, implementing identity. Uh, do we are we seeing this?